Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Bambino Brown at Bambino's World at HipHopSuccess.TV and I just want to say I got a message to African Americans. If you black and in the USA, I just want to ask a question and I speak for myself. A lot of people that's a part of Hip Hop Success might not agree with what I'm saying so I want to say this is straight for me personally. Black people, what the fuck movie are y'all watching? I know what I'm seeing out here from us. A bunch of poison being given to the youth. A bunch of negativity. We got 50 Cent, Floyd Mayweather acting like heathens on the internet. Two wealthy black men talking about why one committed, had a dude commit suicide, cheated on his wife. One talking about he's a rat. Then we got Takashi and everybody want to beat him up and kill him and he doing dumb shit, egging on the whole Chicago. What the fuck is wrong with everybody? Then we got people I idolize like Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, and I'm calling out names today. Billionaire niggas like Ice Cube and Dr. Dre. Killing it in all forms of business. We don't got no youth centers in Compton. Straight out of Compton, where are the youth centers in Compton to teach gangbangers and kids that don't have any opportunities how to be a businessman, how to do stuff outside of gang banging and getting out of prison and not having anywhere to go. When are we going to hold these artists accountable? I'm not going to another Jay-Z and Beyonce concert. I've been to seven of them. My girl told me, let's go. No, I'm not buying no more tickets, no more CDs. I didn't support it enough. When am I going to see black people mobilize? And I'm not saying they're going to say, oh, you just want us to spend our money. Don't even touch your pockets. We could mobilize to where we create nonprofits that opened up schools. My boy Omar McGee opened up Executive Prep Academy for kids and sent 98% of kids to colleges and he couldn't get any investors in the school. Why are we acting like heathens all, 50 Cent's one of my favorite rappers, one of my favorite businessmen, Floyd Mayweather, a great fucking businessman. But when the fuck did Floyd open up a school or something? He gives away turkeys and shit. I see him helping the homeless. But if anybody needs to open up a school, it's motherfucking Floyd Mayweather, who 50 talking about can't read, but whatever. These niggas are great businessmen, but what the fuck are y'all doing for your people? A man can truly be, can't truly be wealthy inside as well as physically when his people are broke as a whole. So I'm holding everybody accountable. Jay-Z, Puffy, DJ Khaled, all these motherfuckers talking about, you see me, yeah, I'm successful, you should be inspired by that. I get that. But what the fuck are y'all doing actually to, to put five institutions in five major cities and says, hey, this is for the people that supported us. We created a non-profit, not touching your own bankroll, to do something for the masses of people. At hiphopsuccess.tv, check us out. We ain't got money like that, but we ain't show neither. But we doing more than y'all with billions and trillions and y'all just on TV flossing and vanity in the mirror, glorifying your motherfucking selves all day long get off your own nuts for a second and let's do something together i want this to to touch people because all the people i'm talking about i idolize and i love but i'm just tired of the shit let's stop faking and acting like we should be inspired because y'all made it i do real estate so i ain't show the broke nigga just hating talking nigga i got paper but i teach niggas how to fish i show niggas how to do real estate i don't just say look at me i'm successful you should be inspired i don't just feed them fish I show niggas how to make money in real estate because everything is in abundance, man. It's enough for everybody to eat. Do you see Asians? Do you see Jews acting like us, niggas acting? You think if Jews made rap music, they would let the Chinese distribute it? Well, why do we own, we, we're the most popular genre of music and we let the Jews distribute our music? No disrespect to Jews. Don't say I'm anti-Semitic or any of that bullshit. I'm just... A black man that wants to love black people. When I go to Chinatown, I don't see no niggas behind the desk talking about, welcome to the Korean grocery store. Nope. They stick together, but they're not being racist when they do that. Why? When niggas do it, it's like we being racist. And then gentrification happening in Windsor Hills, View Park, Ladera Heights, all these white people walking around by my mama house in 6 hood, not even speaking, acting like they've been there forever. Get the fuck out of here. It was just niggas cripping and killing a few years back, white folks. But we're not smart enough to mobilize, to get our qualified black buyers in those homes that are for sale, to get rid of the mayhem without involving white people. When white people move in, we say, oh, it's uncomfortable to crip now. White people in the neighborhood. Why couldn't we do that without them? They made a post about Windsor Hills View Park, Ladera Heights being some of the most prominent 
black communities in the world. And we're letting white people take it over. That's on us. We can't keep blaming a white man. We got to mobilize and make this shit happen. Jay-Z, Puffy, Nas, DJ Khaled, all you athletes, Tiger, well, fuck Tiger Woods, he ain't going to get involved. Kobe, we need to hold everybody accountable. Let this go viral. I'm speaking to all you. Jalen Rose, one of my favorite people. I know he'll be down. Everybody needs to be involved in helping a black movement because they ain't giving us no fucking reparations. I'm doing a book, 40 Acres and the Jewel, because I'm teaching black people to own. Everywhere we step, somebody owns it. You might as well own some real estate. They ain't never going to give you shit. They talking about we still begging for reparations, even though 1950, when our grandparents was alive, Emmett Till was being killed. We couldn't go in a bank and ask for a loan and pass down generational wealth. The fuck movie are y'all watching? I don't care about Trump and none of this political shit as they're destroying the ocean, the air. We ain't talking about the gas gangsters. I could go on and on and on. This is just how I'm feeling. And I feel like I'm so tired of having it bundled up. Pass this around. Let's let's start this conversation. Let's start mobilizing ourselves without asking the white man and blaming him. What the fuck is Jay-Z, Nas, and everybody doing besides chick fil A's or whatever chick sweet licious and shit and giving us products to buy when are we going to create a collective non-profit I'm not saying again I'm not saying take your money and go sprinkle it over the hood Ice Cube be true to the game nigga move way out with the white folks nigga go home spray paint it on your house where the fuck is the youth center in Compton I'm holding all you niggas accountable I ain't scared of you niggas I know you niggas let's have a conversation online in person collectively do a forum i'm calling out african americans to do something for yourselves collectively I, me and my wife put up two g's in in the tulsa fund what what, what my boy who put together uh jay morrison put together that fund but this is hip-hop success tv stuff i hope my partners in the business are mad at me for calling out names and i didn't call out all the names because serena williams she ain't doing shit in compton either what the fuck is she doing in Compton with all these gazillions of billions of quadrillions that everybody got? Rihanna, uh, Beyonce, all these black. What the fuck are y'all doing? Except showing, oh, I'm successful. You should be inspired. Come on, y'all. Our people are listening to this poison music, and I was guilty of it, too. I put out music that wasn't saying the most positive shit, but I grew the fuck up. I'm not saying everything should be clean. and, and let's, let's at least have 50, 50, 50. 50% positive, 50% mumble bullshit, drink coding, which I don't think none of that shit. You be telling our people to take drugs? Genocide is cool. Killing each other is cool. Going to prison is cool. Who the fuck wants to sit in a box with niggas all day being told when to piss, pissing next to your nigga domino motherfucker for 30 years? Let's stop pretending like that shit is real and that's cool. Providing for your family. Leaving real estate to your family. Leaving assets to the next generation. Cleaning our communities, making sure the ocean is clean, making sure healthcare is affordable. What the fuck is Trump talking? What the fuck are we talking about? What the fuck movie are y'all watching? Talk to me, black people, because because I'm tired of it. This is Bambino Brown at Bambino's World at HipHopSuccess.tv. How do you feel about this? Talk to me. I'm out.